What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to break down my thought process and the zero DTE spy strategy that I use, right? The spy zero DTE strategy for trading options. And I'm going to show you guys step by step how I made a 71% return in just under an hour. Okay. And for all my Patreon members, yeah, you guys got access to this. This is, I posted this when I got into the trade, right? And then when I posted, I posted again when I got out and it made a 71% return. So yeah, let's so let's take a look. So this is TradingView and you guys, uh, TradingView, amazing platform. If you're not on it, it's absolutely free to use. Uh, great for charting. I've got a link to it in the description below. Check it out. And then the indicators that I love to use, and this is what I personally use is Luxalgo Premium. So if you don't have Luxalgo Premium, again, check out my link in the description below. You guys can check it out risk-free. So this is what your chart would look like without the indicators, right? This is just what it would be. And well, this wouldn't be here either. So um, the Lux Algo indicators that I like to use are the Lux Algo signals and overlay and then the oscillator matrix as well. So I'll tell you guys exactly what I did with this particular trade. So, you know, the market today opened up. It opened up low and there was a gap down and then it started to rally a little bit. And then I've got my settings on here at sensitivity 18. So once once you install Lux Algo and you can once once you sign up for Lux Algo, you go into your invite only scripts, add it to your chart and all of that stuff. And then the settings that I like to use are these. OK, I like to use the AI signal classifier. I've got my presets on none. I've got my signal sensitivity depending on the time period. So, you know, it customizes that. So I've got that at 18. And then I've got my smart trail, my trend catcher, and my dashboard right here. That's it. Nothing fancy. Just these, these three things is what I like to follow when I'm doing my SPY zero DTE options. Okay. So when the market started to trend up a little bit, this is something I really like to keep an eye on, which is the money flow, okay? So the money flow was positive, even though the market was, was in the red right now. And as it started to come up, the money flow started to rise. Then the trend started to turn green. So I'm like, all right, cool. Now I got to keep an eye on this. And I'm using the five-minute time frame on this. Got a, got a purple uh, candle, which means that there's really no trend in play right now. Then it turned negative again, and then it was negative, negative. And then, and then when it hit a high right here, I went down to the three minute time frame. Okay. And hold on. So let's see. So the five, this was, this candle was right around 1035 to 1040, right? In the morning today. So when I went into the three minute time frame around 1033, there was a buy signal and this, this was already this was already green, okay. And the money flow was positive for the three minute time frame. And I like to trade the five minute time frame because I like to look at a little bit of a longer period. All right. So when I when I saw that there was already a buy signal here, I went back to the to the five minute time frame, waited for this candle to close, and as this candle at ten forty was starting to develop, it started giving a buy signal. And because the three minute was already in the green, and this is one of the things I love about Lux Algo is just the candle coloring, right? So as you can see, lo lots of noise, lots of noise right here, right? But when you when you turn the indicator on, okay, it's all negative, it's all negative. And then when I got a buy signal right here, I jumped in because number one, on the smaller time frame, it was showing a buy. The trend was looking strong. It was trending up. And the money flow is what I really like to pay attention to on the oscillator. So whenever the money flows in the green, it there's more positive money coming into the market than money going out, right? And when there's more money coming in, prices tend to go up, right? Because that shows buying power. So the threshold, which is this line, when the money flow was going above it and this line was starting to increase, that's when I'm like, okay, so the money is really starting to flow. So as you can see right here, this is the threshold. 
And when the money flow is increasing, that's usually a good, good, uh, good sign. And then this darker area, right? This is the light area. This darker area is the overflow, extra access amount of money coming into the market. So when all of those things were lining up right here, you see there's extra money flow, money flows above the line. There's a buy signal. It was perfect for me to get in. So I got in right here and my cost per contract. So I did the 437 calls, right? And hey, nothing in this video is financial advice. It's all for informational purposes only. So I have to put it out there, okay? So when, when this happened right around here, right? The market was right around 436, you know, and, and some change. So I bought the 437 calls at an average cost of 74 cents a contract, right? So $74 per contract, because you multiply that by a hundred and that's because you're controlling hundred shares. And I bought four contracts. So my cost ended up being, let's see, let's calculate that real quick. $74 times four, so $296, right? So $296 and a $212 return profit on $296, that's freaking amazing. So the mark was going up again, little, got a little choppy here, went up. And again, if you don't have the Lux Algo, it's going to show a bunch of different colors because it's negative, positive, negative, right? But I stayed in while it was still green. And then this is where I got out, right? And now I'm sure you're going to be asking me, hey, why did you get out while the candles were still showing green? Now, this is where the oscillator matrix really, really comes in handy. So as you can see right here, there was a negative divergence that was formed and it plots it by itself, right? Because I know for beginners, it can be kind of confusing to plot where the negative and positive divergences you need to like plot and draw and stuff. So as you can see right here, when this candle closed, it plotted a negative divergence. So, okay, which is a sign that, you know, there's, there's, you know, the market's going to either consolidate or start going down. So this is where I got out. This is where I got out. When I got out and there was a $212 profit, which was a 71% return, I was happy with that, you know? So... As soon as I got out, man, good that I did when I looked at this negative divergence coming in, right? The bearish divergence that the market started to go down. So it was great to get in at the right time, take your quick profit and get out and then just, just you know, see what the market does later on. And again, when it comes to this negative divergence, the bearish divergence right here, check out. So if I go in the past, look at this. That's a bullish divergence, okay? So when that happens, guess what? The market started going back up. And I know a lot of people are going to be asking me, this is the Lux Algo Premium. It is not repainting, okay? It does not repaint. So this what this is actual data we're looking at. So if we if we go back some more, here, another bearish divergence. What happened? market went down right after that, right? And then the, the money flow was down. It got into the negative and you see how that worked out. So yeah, this is by far my favorite indicator. And I use this all the time for my personal trading. And yeah, so this was my SPY zero DTE strategy that I use for a trade today. And if you guys have any questions, drop me a comment below. Uh, hit that like button if you guys like this video. And I'm going to be doing a lot more of my trade analysis videos and things like that um, to show a lot of these trades that I've been doing. And yeah, check some of these results out. Th these were results just within the last week. Okay. Tons of profit. It's been great. And I post all of these trades in my Patreon when I get in, when I get out. So if you're not a member of my all, all access Patreon, yeah, you might want to consider joining. It's uh, It's some good stuff. So I've got a link to all of that in the description below as well. And if you're interested in checking out Lux Algo Premium, I've got a link to that in the description below as well. So check that out. And I will see you guys on the next one.